Hello grade 10 students, our discussion for today is about the lens ray diagram. Recall that our previous discussion was about lenses. Remember that a lens is a shaped piece of transparent glass or plastic that refracts light. Lens can be concave or convex. The following are the steps needed to draw an accurate ray diagram. First, draw a lens with a horizontal axis through the middle of it. So you will see from the diagram the two types of lenses. The first one is the convex and the second one is the concave. Second, Mark the position of the principal focuses on either side at equal distances from the lens. Mark the position of the object O, an arrow standing on the axis. Third, draw a ray from the object to the lens that is parallel to the principal axis. Once through the lens, the ray passes through the principal focus. The diagram is a concave lens. This is a convex lens following the same step. Fourth, draw a ray which passes from the object through the optical center of the lens. It passes straight through without being bent. Fifth, a third ray can be drawn from the object through F on the same side of the lens and then to the lens. Once through the lens, the ray passes parallel to the principal axis. Convex lenses The type of image formed by a convex lens depends on the lens used in the distance from the object to the lens, a camera or human eye. Cameras and eyes contain convex lenses. For a distant object that is placed more than twice the focal length from the lens, the image is between F and 2F on the opposite side of the lens to the object, inverted, diminished, and real. Projector. Projectors contain convex lenses. For an object placed between one and two focal length from the lens, the image is further away than 2F on the opposite side of the lens to the object. Inverted, enlarged, real. In a film or data projector, this image is formed on a screen. Film must be loaded into the projector upside down, so the projected image is the right way up. Magnifying glasses. A magnifying glass is a convex lens used to make an object appear much larger than it actually is. This works when the object is placed at a distance from the lens of less than one focal length. The image is on the same side of the lens as the object but further away, upright, enlarged, virtual. Only the person looking through the magnifying glass can see the image. The image cannot be projected onto a screen because it is a virtual image. The table below summarizes the nature of the images produced by a converging lens. If the distance of the object is further than 2F, the size of the image is diminished, it is inverted, real, found between 2F and F. And this applies to the eye or the camera. If the distance of the object is at 2F, the image produced is the same size of the object. It is inverted, real, and located at 2F.
if the distance of the object is between 2F and F, the image produced is enlarged, it is inverted, it is real, and located further to F. This applies to the cinema projector. However, if the distance of the object is at F, no image is formed because the emerging rays are parallel to the axis. This applies to the searchlight or follow spot in the theater. If the distance of the object is closer than F, the size of the image is enlarged, it is upright, virtual. The position is on the same side of the object but further away. This is true to the magnifying glass. This is Teacher Rose of Woodrose International School, hoping that you've learned from our lesson today about lens ray diagram.